Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to upgrade Windows 8.1 to Windows 10. In order to complete this task, we're going to complete these steps right here. Our first step is how to download Windows 10 Media Creation 2. We'll go to Microsoft website and we'll download Windows 10 Media Creation 2. Uh, there are a couple things that uh, Windows 10 Media Creation 2 uh, does for you. Number one, it downloads your Windows 10 binary files, which is required to install Windows 10 or upgrade Windows 10 from previous versions. And number two, it will create a bootable media for you, whether it's a USB or DVD, that you can use um, either to upgrade the existing system where you are uh, basically downloading, or uh, you can uh, upgrade any other PC that's running 8.1 or 7, or you wanted to uh, uh, go ahead and uh, install Windows 10 from the scratch. So um, number two up here, how to identify which version of Windows 10 you need since we're going to upgrade windows 8.1 to windows 10 so our existing system is 8.1 however when we go to download uh, windows 10 media creation 2 we have to identify we have to uh, know that what uh, version of our windows uh, 7 or windows 8.1 is running i'll show you quickly that how to identify the versions there are two versions 32-bit version and 64-bit versions when we download and select um, from uh, Windows 10 Media Creation Tool, it'll give us option whether we wanted to do 32-bit, 64-bit, or both. Number three, how to select media. Uh, we will get the option as well that uh, whether we wanted to select USB uh, uh, or IS ISO file. So the ISO file later on you can burn into DVD, but uh, also if you're upgrading from 8.1 and you have Windows 8, or 8.1 you can right click on ISO file and mount that file um, and you don't have to burn it on your CD and you can run that from there for your upgrade number four system requirements to install Windows 10 uh, when we go to the Windows 10 media creation tool we have an option to look at uh, system requirements to install Windows 10 keep in mind that when we're creating the media whether it's a USB or DVD we need to have about 4 gig space available in order for us to successfully create windows 10 media that is one of the requirement so there are other software and hardware requirements in order to upgrade or install windows 10 so we'll take a look on that i'll show you where it is and finally what we will do is step-by-step -step installation demo of uh, upgrading windows 8.1 to windows 10 Keep in mind, this is very important note here, since we're uh, upgrading the existing system and we might have some important documents in our existing system. Obviously, you use your existing system every day and you might have some important documents. I would recommend that go ahead and back up those documents because if something happened during the installation, you might lose your important documents. So let's go ahead and start um, from our first step. Here's my uh, server and I have a virtual environment right here this is the server right here that uh, this is the machine basically right here that uh, I'm going to upgrade this is running Windows 8.1 professional edition let me go ahead and maximize that in order to find out number one that uh, uh, what version of Windows 8.1 you're running uh, or what system types your uh, current operating system is what you need to do in Windows um, 8.1 you click right here and you will see right here the um, uh, my PC this PC icon right click on that go to the properties and it'll open up the properties first thing you notice right here Windows edition Windows 8.1 professional this is my window in my case and uh, system types right here system type 64-bit operating system so when I go on Microsoft website to download the media creation tool I have to make sure that I download 64-bit if it says in your environment that is 32-bit operating system you need to basically go ahead and download 32-bit um, media creation tool that will create a media for your 32-bit system so let's go ahead and open Internet Explorer I'm gonna close this go to Google and let me maximize this you can type Windows 10 upgrade media creation tool this will make it easier and this is the second link right here if you click on media creation tool to download Windows 10 you can click on that 
and it'll open up the page that we're looking for. If you notice right here what I was talking about, four gig space you need when you're creating your media, whether it's a USB or a blank DVD. Uh, the recommendation is that your USB or DVD should be blank. That way you won't lose any um, any of your documents that resides on your USB or DVD uh, prior to making it a media. Other thing that uh, I talked about system requirements, you can click on system requirements uh, uh, and look at all the software and hardware requirements of the uh, Windows 10 uh, or uh, how to upgrade um, uh, from how to upgrade 8.1 to Windows 10 system requirements and it'll show you right there. Um, next thing that um, uh, one thing I wanted to mention right here enterprise edition so if you have uh, Windows 8.1 enterprise edition you cannot use this media creation tool you basically have to go um, Microsoft think that you're doing the business and you have to open your business portal with Microsoft and get the license for Windows 10 and that way you can um, upgrade your uh, enterprise edition but whether it's enterprise edition professional home edition uh, the steps that we're going to take in order to upgrade the windows uh, is going to be the same next i was talking about the system types uh, if your system is 32 bit version you can click on 32 bit version and if your system is 64 bit version which is in my case i will go ahead and click on download to now and it'll start downloading the tool click on run this comes as a, in Windows 8.1 with the extra security that it asks you. Um, it's a USC setting. You can change that setting, but uh, every time you click and try to download something, it'll ask you that whether you wanted to do that, such as uh, you can see it right here, user access control, USC. You can uh, uh, lower that, and it will not ask you. Some people find it a bit um, bothering, bothersome. So if you don't want to see that you can go in USC setting and change that alright this is the tool so we get two option um, upgrade this PC now you can click this option and it will start upgrading I will always recommend that you go ahead and create installation media for this PC that way you don't have to do it again if you wanted to upgrade your another PC uh, with Windows 10 go ahead and click create installation media for another PC click next and here are the options for this uh, language whatever your language may be um, if it's in the list you can select that in my case is English United States edition right here is Windows 10 home edition and other options 10 home N and uh, pro and pro N one thing I do wanted to mention here that if you uh, create a media of Windows home edition or home N uh, or any uh, let's say is pro but your existing window that you're trying to uh, upgrade is uh, a different edition then it's going to ask you the key and you won't be able to keep your previous files so keep in mind that uh, you should uh, create the media uh, according to your Windows edition of your existing window in my case is pro so I'm going to go ahead and download Windows 10 Pro and architecture up here system type is 64 bit for me you get an option 32 bit 64 and both if you do the both the file would be a little bit bigger but your system it will detect your system if it's 32 it's gonna run the 32 so let's go ahead and select 64 bit click next you have an option that whether you wanted to create USB as your media or ISO file for this particular demo I have already downloaded the ISO file but I just wanted to let you know that you can basically go ahead and connect your USB flash drive uh, which has more than 3 gig space basically more than 4 gig space as they said on the system requirements uh, and it's always better to have a bit more space than what exactly it needs um, ISO file so you can click on ISO file if you are upgrading from uh, 8.1 it's better to click on ISO file because all you need to do is right click on ISO file and mount it and that will become your DVD drive so um, but you have an option if you wanted to use USB flash drive for the media creation you can select that uh, I selected ISO file and I have already downloaded it so next thing it'll ask you as you can see that I have already downloaded it that where you wanted to put your ISO file uh, once you do that, I'm going to cancel this. Once you do that, uh, it's going to start downloading 
uh, the binary files and then after that it's gonna uh, um, go through another process called media creation process so once the media is created it'll be ready for to use so this is what we needed to do before we start the installation so I'm gonna close this I'm gonna close this as well so my ISO file resides right here in C I'm sorry it's in my documents right here is my Windows 10 let me see if I already mounted it so what I am going to do is eject that and go back to my documents right click on the ISO file and click on mount if you get a uh, error right here that uh, uh, there was some problem mounting that just try a couple more times and it'll do it I'm not sure that I went through this I'm not sure why it gave me that error but sometimes if you uh, get an error don't think that your uh, media is corrupted uh, just try a couple more times that worked for me but uh, it could be your media is corrupted while you were downloading uh, so let's let's go ahead and click on setup right click on the setup run as administrator is always a good idea click yes One thing I wanted to mention that if your existing system uh, is already registered with Microsoft and it's genuine key, it will not ask you the key to put in again. But uh, if it's not genuine key, it's going to ask you to put Windows 10 key. So keep that in mind that if you don't know the key of your uh, existing system, uh, it might be on the DVD that comes with, uh, with your laptop or it's underneath on the sticker of your laptop. So make sure that uh, you find the key. Uh, again, uh, it it would not probably ask if it's a uh, genuine um, uh, Windows, which is Windows 8.1. So uh, we have an option right here: download and install updates. That is recommended, not right now. If you have already downloaded and installed all the updates uh, updates that was required, you don't have to go through this. But uh, I would recommend that go through download and install updates recommended because it will download some of the things that will make your installation way more smoother um, and it'll you will uh, it'll avoid any error during the installation so let's go ahead and uh, it won't take long so click on download and install updates recommended click next and it's checking for updates right now accept the license it's gonna check the updates couple times if any updates in your system requires the reboot it's gonna go ahead and ask you to reboot the system These updates are going to take a little bit of time, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. Once the updates are completed and installed, uh, I'll be back. All right, our Windows 10 setup is ready to be installed. If you wanted to look at more options right now, install Windows 10 Pro and keep personal files. These are the settings. If you wanted to look at more settings, you can click on change what to keep and it will show you three options. Keep personal files and apps, keeps personal files only and nothing. So if you click nothing, then it's going to delete everything on your existing system and create uh, install Windows 10. Um, brand new and if you keep right here personal files all your files XML uh, uh, text files or any other files you know, will remain there but all the apps will be gone but this is the best option this is the recommended option if you're just upgrading your uh, Windows 8.1 to uh, Windows 10 keep personal files and apps let's go ahead and click next
let's go ahead and click install and the installation has started so it'll take a while uh, to uh, install Windows 10 and then it's gonna go through the upgrade wizard so once that is completed then um, I'll be back I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video alright as you can see that my uh, computer is restarted and it's upgrading my Windows 8.1 to Windows 10 this upgrade is gonna take a while so I'll go ahead and pause the video again and um, once the upgrade is completed I'll be back and we'll proceed with next steps right here uh, I wanted to mention that uh, there are little status right now copying files 1% installing features and dri uh, drivers uh, configuration settings and all that that's a little status for you right here it does take a while so sit back and relax while Windows 10 is installing the rest of the stuff click next and we have a couple options right here one is use express settings and other is customized settings so if you wanted to use uh, express settings it'll get you to Windows 10 faster you can always change these settings and if you click on customize setting it'll ask you uh, to it'll ask your input uh, on every setting whether you wanted to enable disable or whatever you wanted to do with that so let's go ahead for demo purposes click on use express settings next All right, let's maximize this. I'm going to go ahead and provide the password to my user. And it is setting up a few things for us, and then it'll be ready for us to use. All right, here's your Windows 10. So let's go ahead and look in the system and see if everything is okay. Click on start button, go to setting. Go to system. And click on about. And here it is. Edition Windows 10 uh, Professional and uh, this is all the information so this is basically how you upgrade your windows 8.1 to windows 10 and we have completed all these steps in order to complete this task and i hope this helps